Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the second part of our this year's trip to Banff and I know, I know it's coming later than I promised. There is just so much going on that I couldn't get back to editing this episode. But for now, let's check out what we did in Banff on our day two and day three. As you can see, we woke up into a beautiful morning and had a special brunch date planned for us at the Fairmont Banff. Fairmont Banff has a new private outdoor dining venue called the 360 Degree Dome. It's available year-round and offers unique dining experience. Let's check it out. Located on the upper garden terrace, the 360 degree dome is surrounded by panoramic views of the Canadian Rockies and the 132 year old castle. It was such a romantic experience and perfect way to celebrate our second year anniversary. It was an extravagant family style brunch we had in the morning and definitely had to pack most of the items. I will recommend this experience for anyone looking to celebrate something special in Banff and will include the link to reserve the venue in the comments below. After this huge brunch, we had several activities planned for us to do in the town of Banff, but Riju got an emergency situation at work and we had to head back to our hotel. It left me a little bummed, but while he was working, I decided to enjoy the amenities in our room. After we got finished, we went to take a dip in the hot tub, but guess what? They had to shut it today because the temperature got too cold. Hey guys, this is cold. Oh. Is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. Oh. <laughs> it's closed because of temperature? Yes. So that's pretty much how our day two ended and on day three, we woke up early in the morning and enjoyed fresh bagel right in the town of Canmore. For today, we had another special activity planned in Banff. 
I'm not gonna reveal it right now, but bring you right to it. Until then, enjoy the drive. Yes, it was a horse-drawn sleigh ride experience. This was a memorable winter experience and we enjoyed the mountain views as a team of horses pulled us through sparkling snow-covered meadows. I had booked this activity right through Expedia and just waited for the next team of horses to pull through for a ride. One car, Justin Group, you guys will have the two back rows. Beautiful, follow me out this way. Stop here. You guys take a couple photos with people here. <laughs> so these guys are used to us on horses and with the sleighs, so they don't really care for us. So we always get two different reactions. Those who are very happy that they're protected, or you get hunters <laughs> who are very mad because they can't do anything about them. And then the very cool spiked uh, top mountain there, that is Mount Rundle. Rundle's one of my favorites because the movie The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio was filmed there. They're younger because they're looking at us. They're kind of wondering what we're doing. <laughs> and the one up front here does not have a care in the world. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> it. And, but also, if you're not into hiking, we have the gondola. So that's the Banff gondola, or whatever you want to call it, just gondola. And just a little quick note, as these boys are the Belgians, the red and brown colored, you got the Pertrons here on your left, all that black color. The left here we got a half, half Belgian, half quarter horse, on the right we got a half Pertron, half quarter horse. After that beautiful one hour ride, we headed to visit Lake Lewis, which was about 40 minute drive from Banff. The weather kept switching from being cloudy to sunshine to cloudy again, and the entire view looked like something from Winter Wonderland. Even though you can see the sun shining bright, it was minus 35 today and very cold. Lake Lewis is one of the world's most photographed glacial lakes. Once you get in front of the Lake Lewis, it is just as beautiful as one would imagine it to be. And there is another world famous Fairmont location here called the Fairmont Chateau Lake Lewis.
Lake Lewis is frozen over half of the year, so naturally ice skating is a popular activity. People were gliding across the lake as well, but I had just heard of an incident about thin ice accident a few days back, so we held ourselves back. Lake Lewis is world famous and depending on what time of year you visit, it may feel like half of the world has decided to see it at the exact same time. But luckily we didn't see much crowd on this day as it was extremely cold. Lake Lewis is the crown jewel of Banff National Park and definitely lived up to the hype. It was too cold for us to stay outside so we couldn't spend too long but tried our best to take as much beauty as we could with our eyes and our cameras. The weather became pretty extreme by the time we headed back and the roads became very slippery. We safely returned back to our hotel and finally got a chance to take our hot tub dip. After that nice hot bath, we went for a walk in the town of Canmore and got some candies and goodies to take back home. We even drove around to find a nice restaurant for dinner but in the end decided to dine at the one in our hotel as it had the best reviews. So that was it for our day 3 in Banff. There is so much more to do in Banff and I will cover more spots in the third and the last part of this trip. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more travel videos and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on my channel. See you soon.